For over four billion years, the Earth and the Moon have traced a delicate dance around the Sun. But our celestial partner is gradually slipping away. Sometimes when we talk about things that are reliable, we say there's nothing as reliable as the rising of the sun, right? We can think of the moon in the same way. It goes through its phases, it's there, night after night, year after year. But it turns out the moon is actually moving away from the Earth. And that's due to the interaction of the moon and the Earth's tidal bulge. The bulge of water pulled up by gravity sits slightly ahead of the moon because the Earth spins faster than the moon orbits. The moon pulls by gravity on that bulge and slows the Earth's rotation. Over billions of years, that has slowed the Earth's rotation a lot. We used to be spinning a lot more rapidly, probably more than twice as fast as we do now. But like a gravitational whip line, the moon's attraction to the bulge also speeds up its orbit. This speed makes the moon's orbit wider, pushing it farther and farther away. It's a very small amount, so it's only about 3.8 centimeters, which is about an inch and a half a year. Over billions of years, the moon will shrink to a dot in the night sky, and the Earth's spin will become so slow that the moon will appear to freeze above our heads. There will come a time where the Earth is actually locked. One side of the Earth faces one side of the moon, and the two of them will go around in lockstep. So there'll be one place on Earth where you can see the moon. So you might imagine you'd have to go on some kind of uh, vacation to actually see the moon at that point in time. But that's going to be a long time from now. So, so you know, um, <laughs> I wouldn't start booking your tickets quite yet. 